What's up everybody? I am here live in the parking lot at PSC Metals for what is sure to be a home game for the Buffalo Bills here at Nissan Stadium as they are taking on our hometown Tennessee Titans. Drove past nothing but Bills fans on the way in here to the parking lot. Duck boat full of them. I was actually on a work call when I drove by them and didn't seem to bleed through so nobody went, is that a duck boat you're driving by? So it's going to make for an interesting night. I clearly am still on a Florida set of mine. Just got back from Disney World 24 hours ago. I'm wearing just my jersey and shorts and it's maybe going to be in the 40s tonight. So I may have made a huge mistake, but hopefully the Titans will do well and I'll be jumping them and down and staying warm, but probably not. But that's the other good thing. If I am cold, I'll probably have a lot of reasons to leave early tonight. I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen? Go Titans. step run up to that kid. Contingent is bad, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be, but it's still bad. Of course, on at the seats, we try to pull home, home run throw back on the Bills. This time it was a forward pass. It wasn't the first time, but it was this time. something on us here.
Might as well just give the quarterbacks little flags that they can pull instead of letting them get sacked anymore. Josh Allen's like standing on his feet fighting to break tackles, but we hit him and it's a rough in the passer. Insert curse word here. The refs remember there's two fit teams on the field just in time for us to not need the penalty because Julio made the catch of the year. Threw two flags on a play where we don't need any. Cometh the man, cometh the hour, it's Fat Randy time. Change. Might have been one of the most muted celebrations for a touchdown ever, but I'm still concerned about Taylor Lewan. Gave his thumbs up on the way out, so hopefully he's alright. We're not going to have any players left by the end of this game. Legit think Vrabel's afraid of any more injuries. 40 seconds on the clock, three timeouts, and we just take it to the half. That's coward football right there. That's soft. Start the MVP chance. When do we start the MVP chance?
behind all the Bills buses heading for the airport. Sad flight back for this team. Goodbye Buffalo, goodbye Buffalo. Go to the airport and go on home. Goodbye Buffalo, you tried your best. Goodbye Buffalo. All right, back home. Got a little bit of my voice back. What a game. What a damn game. I sat here in this very room early today and did a live stream and said the only chance the Titans have, the only thing that makes me thought, think they had a chance was if Derrick Henry went off. He did. And just the pure fact that sometimes, for whatever reason, that team just plays better when the odds are stacked against them. You know, if, if we're a 10-point favorite, we're going to lose the game. But if we're counted out, if everybody says we got no chance, everybody says take the Bills by six... We're going to win a game like that. All credit to the players. They worked their freaking butts off the entire game. They fought for every yard. They fought for every stop. Still think there was some coaching malpractice that really set us back. Vrabel not going for anything at the end of the half. You know, maybe that's him saying we're we're too beat up. Maybe we I we got, I'm not gonna exhaust the players anymore than I need to. Let's go in the half, let's get refreshed. Maybe that worked. I mean to me it seemed very stupid, but we won the game. So I don't even know how critical I, critical I should be of that. Whew, I'm exhausted. That took a lot of I mean that was by far the most emotional, awesome stadium experience. In forever, and granted, stadium experiences have been kind of thrown off for a while with you know everything that happened, but that felt like a real game. That felt like unbelievable. But I gotta say, I was surprised the Bills Mafia did not take over the stadium like I thought they would. There was still probably more of them there than I would have liked to have seen at a Titans home game. But, I mean, the Titans fans, shout out to all the other Titans fans. We held the we held our ground. Every time somebody in our little area started trying to let, let's go, Buffalo, Titans fans shut them down. Titans fans shut them up. They didn't give them the chance to be loud. They didn't give them the chance to act like it was their stadium. Every time we had the opportunity to get loud, we got loud. It was the loudest I've heard Nissan Stadium in forever. Shout out Titans fans. And the other thing I think that happened here, <clears throat> why I thought there'd be more Buffalo fans than there were, I think, you know, once again, shout out Titans fans. I think everybody held on to their tickets. I think everybody held their ground and wanted to go to this game. Because I saw a ton of Buffalo fans walking across the bridge towards the stadium after the game, which that tells me a lot of Buffalo people came down here thinking, oh, we just take over the stadium we go to. We'll go down there. We'll buy up all the tickets. And they got down here and found out it wasn't going to be as easy to get into the stadium as they thought it was going to be. And they had to walk over to crappy Broadway, crappy whatever, and watch the game somewhere else because they did not get in the stadium the way they thought they were going to get in. Good job, Titans fans. More of that. Let's keep going. I got some work meetings tomorrow where, like, I'm going to have to pass the buck. I can't talk tomorrow. I'm barely getting this out right now. Tighten up. Chiefs in six days. It doesn't get any easier. <laughs>